Hey friends, uh, the other day I was at TJ Maxx and found this pearlescent watercolor set that I thought looked like something fun to try and I'm always about saving money. Uh, Timu.com is also a place you can pick up supplies for cheap and um, we'll also need a compass for today's project. Um, I was inspired on a Facebook group, um, Art Journaling and Mixed Media. Uh, there's a, a friend on there. Um, this is her Instagram handle. Um, and this was a page that she did that I wanted to um, kind of draw some inspiration from. I like the idea of concentric circles, uh, which have the same center point as you go out. So I use my compass to start creating circles kind of randomly. This compass works by just uh, screwing um, and unscrewing the little the side so you can just vary the sizes. I didn't really strategize or think too much when I started making the circles. And um, I'll give you my, my opinion or feedback later <laughs> on my composition. But for now, I'm just trying not to think too much. Just, you know, art, I feel like if we can overanalyze it, what is it, paralysis by analysis? You know, I've done that in the past with relationships. I've done it with a lot of things in life. So I'm trying to just relax and enjoy the process and not overthink things. So um, I've been using this this wire art journal and just kind of making it work in the cracks. <laughs> I think someday I'll probably go to just a regular uh, open spread gutter. So here's the, the colors that look kind of interesting on the back. So I thought I'd show you those. And um, it did come with a brush. And my, the first color I tried was like, whoa, that doesn't even show up. So um, I went ahead and covered over it with a darker color. And the paints themselves seem very dry at first. It takes a little work to soften them up, um, quite a bit of water and, and mixing. Um, but once they kind of get to the consistency that works well, I really like them. And I like the pearlescent, so um, I'll show you later w by tilting it up and reflecting it with the light that you can see that it's it's got this metallic um, shell kind of look to it. It's really pretty. Yeah, so the instructions are pretty basic. Uh, make your circles and start filling them in. So I'm actually going to show you two pages today. This was the first and there were a few things about it that I didn't love in the end. And so instead of uh, worrying about it, I just decided to make another one. And so I'm going to show you both of them. Um, the process I'll show you even a little bit faster on the next one because you, you get the idea of how it works. Um, so yeah, so that's why this video is almost 20 minutes long. It's not just this page. You'll be, you'll be seeing a second page as well. And then you can tell me which one you like better.
I wanted to share a quote by Andy Warhol. It says, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad, whether they love it or they hate it. And while they're deciding, make even more art. So if I had one message um, for everybody out there that watches my videos, it's just that we have to let go of our criticism of ourselves. I mean, it's good to critique and look for ways to improve, but we also have to embrace our flaws and imperfections. Perfection is re really an unrealistic goal anyway. You know, the, the old saying, practice makes perfect. Well, I've heard it said, practice makes progress. And I like that a lot better because we can improve our skills. We can um, do, we can accomplish a lot in life by practicing, um, but the goal is to improve and do the best we can. And with art, shoot, you can even, you don't even have to do the best you can. You can just enjoy the process. And if it, in the end you burn it, <laughs> but you got what you needed out of the process, then you've succeeded. So let go of all those inhibitions and just have fun. This is your imagination at the playground. I've mentioned my Facebook group before, Art Journaling and Mixed Media. I highly recommend if you're on Facebook to join. It's it's just a fun place. There's over 15,000 members and people just post their art and ask questions and it's a very encouraging uh, place to be. And I've noticed uh, recently a couple people posted how they just feel kind of overwhelmed and don't know where to start. and. It made me realize that we can look at each other's finished products and think, whoa, that's just so overwhelming. And we look at all the details and we just don't know how to get from a blank page to something like so beautiful that we see. And um, so that's kind of the purpose of a process video really is so that you can see step by step that when you break it down, it's really not that difficult. You know, it's not difficult to get a compass and make circles and fill in the lines and um, come up with some patterns. And even if you get stumped on the patterns, you know, you go over to, to Pinterest or patterns on clothing or bedding. There's, there's patterns all around us if we kind of look around for inspiration, even our dishes and yeah, so get creative in where you look. So anyway, just wanted to encourage you in that, that when you see something um, and, you know, don't be too critical of, of yourself and comparison is the thief of joy. We have to embrace where we're at again and um, and know that we're, we're not like everybody else. We're not going to produce the same thing as everybody else and we'll have our own unique art style. So normally I'd say Mod Podge is safe at this stage uh, to cover, but I was a little impatient and did not let everything dry completely. And oh gosh, I just smeared it. No, major bummer, disappointed. So that was the one thing I didn't like, but I also found that the composition didn't feel balanced to me. It felt, um, I, I don't know, I've, I've always expressed I like triangles and instead I had one big circle in the center and then 
you know, four kind of almost symmetrical on each side. So anyway, I decided to do it again. And um, I went outside to enjoy the beautiful weather. And my husband and my daughter were doing their artwork with me out here. Um, I will let you know, though, but because of the outdoor lighting, um, the it changed quite a bit. It was a day that was um, cloudy one minute and sunny the next. So you'll see that my camera didn't always adapt very well. And so I kind of go back and forth between it being very bright and kind of dark. So I think it I edited out any extremes and you'll still be able to see the process pretty well. But um, I'm gonna, I just went ahead and did the same process as the, the first page where um, making the concentric circles. And this time I decided to be a little bit more intentional about my composition. So I did three circles instead of five and having um, them all just a little bit different sizes and overlapping in a tri more of a triangular uh, orientation which sounds funny talking about circles being in triangles, but I think you can see if you drew a, a, a line from each of the centers that you will have a triangle. And that's just one of those compositional elements that I just, I can't not see. <laughs> So looking at the side-by-side -side comparison, what do you think? Do you see the difference in the composition? Do you have a favorite? Um, you know which one I like. I like the one on the right better. What do you think? Leave a comment if you want. And I hope that you enjoyed watching my process. See you next time.